Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Blessing. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful sleeve you see me holding on, on this screen. And if you are new in this channel, you are highly welcome. This is a channel where I share a pattern drafting and a sewing tips. To my whole subscriber, I really appreciate you. You guys are too much. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, in today's tutorial, like I said, I will be teaching us how to make this sleeve. And this is a is inspiration I took I took to make create mine okay so if you want to know how I really made this sleeve definitely keep on watching and if you have not subscribed to this channel please and uh, please subscribe like and share this video turn on the notification bell beside it to see more of my video if you don't want to miss any of my video just turn on the notification bell and see and you will see more of my video and if you have question to ask me you can comment that on the comment section down below and i will be there to reply all your questions and please give this a thumbs up if you find this helpful at the end of this video hey guys the material we need in this tutorial they are our boning and uh, my boning as you can see my fabric that is a door face of the fabric and my hard stay some people call it peplum stain as well and my paint and my scissors as well so guys the first thing i will be doing here is that i will just you know for this tutorial just for a tutorial and if you want to make the length of this uh, uh, sleeve i will advise us to mention our clients to know where it will start from and where it will end okay so for this tutorial i just decided to give i just mark 22 inches for the length just for the sake of this tutorial and for the width i go ahead to mark five uh, six inches one inches for seam allowance and five inches for the width and that is what i will just mark for but it's it's optional though is depends on how wide you want it but for the sake of this tutorial i just went ahead to mark six inches and by the time i will stitch all around it will come back to five inches so like i said i said i for the length i go ahead to mark 22 inches okay but this is not that this i just for the tutorial okay but if you want to do yours make sure you measure your client from where it will start to where it will end okay so now after marking i will go ahead to cut the part that i use a shock to mark before then i will go ahead to pin down so that when cutting i won't have a shortage or the fabric will not uh, shift when i'm cutting so i want to secure it with my pin so that it can align together when cutting it okay so uh, i decided to check it if i'm on right track after pin it down so guys after that i will go ahead to cut off the the part i want okay So guys, after cutting, I will just put the other one aside, okay, because it's no longer needed. So I will now slit the underside into two like so, just the way you see me doing. I will slit it into two for us to have the main fabric and the lining, because I want to use the, the door face as a lining as well, okay. So after that, I will go ahead to remove my pin. So guys, after removing my pin, it will look something like this. Okay. So the next thing I will be doing here is that I will take one of these parts. And I will bring out my word, eh, sorry to say my art hair stain like so. Then I will open it up. I will open it up like so 
Then I will place the wrong side to the shiny part of the stain. I don't know if you understand. The wrong side to the shiny side of my hair stain. Then I will pin down to secure. So guys, after pinning, I'll go ahead to cut out the exact what exactly uh, the shape the the fabric. I will just cut it just the way you see me doing. I will just cut it. So guys, after cutting out, it will look something like this. Then I will go ahead to my ironing table and use a very hot iron to hold it together so that it can hold together, okay? So guys, after using my art, after ironing, it will look something like this. You can see how it is, okay? So the next thing I will be doing here is that I will bring out my bony. Hmm? I will turn it over like so, then bring out my bony and I will put my bony, but I will I will make a half inch allowance before the bony, before we sew the bony, if you understand me, I will come down by half an inch, just the way you see me doing, I will come down by half an inch on the bodies, two sides, the up and the down, I will come down by half an inch, then I will insert my bony there, it's an original bony, you can sew on it. So, I will just go and come back and show you guys. So, guys, I've done stitching down my bony, and this is how it looks like. You can see the other side I've done doing it, and you can see the structure is coming out already. So, the next thing I will be doing here is that for the lining, I will place the lining right side meeting right side. That one half an inch that I took earlier, I will use it to run the lining for the up and the down. Okay. So guys, I've done stitching both the lining and the main fabric together. And you can see it, you can see that the allowance that I gave, that is how I use it to, to stitch the both sides together. So the next thing is that I will turn this thing as I as in, I will turn it over. But it's a little bit hard, but you can still do it. Because of the structure, because of the hard gum, the hard gum stain and the the bony it's a little bit hard but you can do it so i just take my time and bring it out like so so guys after turning i will have something like this then i'll take it to my my table to give it a very good press add water to it so that it can align to it so guys this is it after ironing you can see how it looks like you can see the structure is forming already but you can still leave it like this anyways you can leave it like this if you want but i will just set to plant it at the side and use my hand needle to just secure the plant before i will put it on the dress okay so like i said it's a tutorial but if you are doing yours make sure you measure your client or if you are making it for yourself make sure you measure yourself as well so this is how it looks like. So I will go ahead to plant it at the side. I will just plant it like so. Then I will use my hand needle to hold it down. Okay. So guys, after that, I will go ahead to trim out the excess that I have and it will look very neat there, as you can see. 
So I will do the same thing to the other side. I will trim off the excess as well. So guys, this is how it looks like, okay? So guys, this is how it will be looking like by the time you've done that. As you can see, our sleeve is ready. So guys, you know when you want to put it in your dress or your gown, any of the, you need it to be rough. So you will use a, a, a pattern like this, maybe any design of your choice and should be the same color. This is a, a, a tutorial, that is why I use this pattern. I don't have any pattern, that is why for the illustration, okay? Don't use it to hold it at that. Just gum it, or you can use needle and thread to stitch tack it to cover the rough edge. Okay, so this is how it looks like, guys. If you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, comment, and please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you want to see my video. Because if I upload a video, if you turn on the notification bell. You will be notified whenever I upload a new video. So, guys, give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by to work, click on my video and watch my video to this very end. All right, guys, thank you, guys, and see you in my next video. Bye.